finally the wild goose chase is over. Just as we left you after we were chatting to De Beer, Ryan's tracker from Arethusa, he jumped on board and we were we obviously started to hear the most amazing commotion. We heard growling, but we don't know if it's from these three Birmingham boys, which is also something that we haven't seen in a very long time. Now, the beautiful big one on the left is guess who it is? It's the one with the equal sign on top of his nose, Nena, who we haven't seen in such a long time. And I'm so happy to see him. Here we go. You can see that scar on his nose. And I can't believe that it's actually still there. I thought that it was going to disappear. But he is looking beautiful and massive. His mane is filled out even more than his brother's. And this is so exciting to see the three of them uh, together. And I think the one just to the right of him, it looks like Mfumo. And then I suspect Mfumo's shadow being Tinyo, as the two of them always follow each other around, is the third one. But isn't this amazing? We also heard some more commotion. We heard elephants shouting and screaming. And I think that they could have been chasing some more lions a little bit further south from where we are at the moment. But I think... I think it could just be off of Arethusa Traverse, maybe in Shelley's, and sadly we won't be able to go there, but hopefully we'll be able to spend a little bit of time with these males this morning. But I am very, very, very excited because this is the first time that I've seen three of the Birminghams together. I've only ever seen two of them together. It's either been Nena and Mfumo, or Tinyo and Mfumo, and now... Isn't this amazing? What a great start it has been, of course, to the new year. Now, like I said earlier, this is a live safari and we'd absolutely love to hear from all of you. So please hashtag Safari Live on Twitter with any of your questions or send them through to questions at wildearth.tv. If you don't have a Twitter account, we still, of course, have an email address that you can send them to. But what... An amazing morning. This was literally the last thing that I thought we were going to find. I thought we were going to maybe find them Fumo and Tinyo, maybe together. Because we only had the one set of li male lion tracks in the beginning. And then as we came down Safari Drive, they ventured into two. And well, look at this. Three beautiful big Birmingham males. Now we just left with Nsuku, who I have yet to see. Hello Aaron from New Zealand. Now you've said that this is a wonderful site and you're wondering where the fourth Birmingham is. Now as far as I understand, Suku seems to uh, sort of hang around with the Styx Pride sort of in the, the more northeastern corner I suppose of the northern Sabi sand. So we don't see him uh, very often and like I said I have yet to see him. So he's still a male that is on my male line list of course to see. But I'm very happy just to of course have a look at Nena. It's been... It's probably been about a month and a half, maybe even a little bit longer since the last time I saw him. Last time we saw Nena, the one with the beautiful big mane, was actually, um, they were mating. It was Amber Eyes, I think, that was mating again, and the youngest lioness. And he was sitting off in the distance watching, I think it was Mfumo, as he mated with the rest of uh, the, well, the, the other two lionesses. But let's take another look at these lions. Now, Emery, you are asking if we can zoom in a little bit to, of course, Nena, which is the lion on the far left. But he has got his head now tucked underneath his paws. But one of the easiest features that Nena has is, firstly, he's got the most gorgeous mane. It's a lot more puffier. He's obviously been using some sort of thickening shampoo in his beautiful mane, and I'm just teasing. But if you look very closely on the right hand side of his nose, so if you're looking at the screen it will be on the left, he's got those two sort of beautiful, it's almost like an equal sign on top of his nose, those two scars that are parallel to each other, and that's unmistakable. I thought though, and this is the thing with scars though, is sometimes they heal and the hair will actually grow over that scar, and then they won't stay around for too too much longer, but that's been there for, for quite some time, and I have... I think it's going to be there for a very long time, which is quite exciting because it makes it easy to identify him. But I will never forget this lion. 
he is he is beautiful for a lion up here in the north where there are a lot of other big male lions around he is honestly he is beautiful and he's got a much darker body too than the rest of his his group or the rest of these two so he might be slightly older than Mfumo and of course Tinio but they are sleepy cats now very very sleepy and I don't blame them for wanting to sleep after the morning they've had Hello Marianne, Marianne you're wondering if these lions are actually brothers or if uh, they are maybe cousins and uh, now the thing with lions are is we, we sort of give them the loose name brothers if they come from the sort of uh, not necessarily even the same litter so not from the same female but they most likely have the same father of some sort and um, they would have come from the same pride so they would have all left together so I don't think that they're necessarily exactly the same age you can definitely see that Mfumo and Tinyo seem to be slightly younger uh, than Nsuku and of course Nena just because of the way that their bodies have developed their manes are much larger their, the colour on their body has also gone that sort of darkish grey colour which normally happens when they get to about sort of six years old and they're about that old now so I suppose you could say that they're rather cousins more than anything, but I, I don't know uh, the mothers, the pride, uh, very well that the Birminghams actually came from. So I don't know how many of them there were, whether they had sisters, because they obviously didn't come from this area. They came from sort of Timbavati area, a little bit further north from where we are, and then they moved away. But fast asleep. They've obviously done a big territorial patrol last night and are now exhausted. So I just mentioned, and Donna, you're actually wondering about why they're called Birmingham boys. It's because of uh, where they come from. So the farm name, basically, and this is normally given to male lions, is where they came from is called the Birmingham Farm, which is in the Timbavati area. So they left that area, they gave them that name, and now they are, of course, down here isn't that beautiful just the most magnificent scene there's even a guinea fowl I'm just trying to see where it's gone now uh, I don't think you'll be able to see them there's a couple of guinea fowl just sort of down there in the distance but I don't think you will unfortunately see them maybe you can get them Craig straight through the bushes before they disappear